Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Minecraft 1.14.3 Straight Up Vanilla. I am the Pied Piper of sheep, cows, and everything that loves wheat. I'm getting some sheep together. I had no idea that there was many up here. This is right behind the house. I haven't been up here yet. This is the first time I've been up on this hill. We've been over on that side of the edge, but the llamas and everything have moved over to this area. So, uh, we need some sheep for the cyan wool. So, I thought, well, this is a great place to come and get that. Right, we get some sheep together. We dye them cyan, and bam, we got we got we got the sheep situation taken care of. We can breed up a few. We could actually leave a few up here on the hill. No big deal. We even got some cows coming down. I know, everybody. Look at it. Look at it. They love me. They want to be my friend. Now we're not gonna eat the sheep. We're here really just for the wool. I think I've got four back here that stayed with me. Right. Yeah, four and then two cows. Okay, that's that's awesome. That'll work. Hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. It's my Monday. A Monday. Oh, it looks like it's got five sheep. Oh man, this is this is better than I thought. I thought we only had two up there. As I got up there, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's black ones up here. There's gray ones up here. There's all kinds of sheep up here. But we lost a cow. That's okay. We don't really want the cows, anyways. We've got plenty of cows. Come on, sheep. That's it. That's it. You got it. Everybody still coming? All right. Drop off right into here. Bump, 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 bump. Everybody in. Everybody in. Everybody in. Oh, nice. All right. Let's let's breed them all up. Oh, I should have done that first. I should have died them first and then bred them. Oh man. We'll do that next time for sure. Uh, we gotta get rid of that cow too. Get that cow out of here. There we go. Got it. Okay, beautiful. Uh, do we really need any more than that? I don't think we should. We need the cyan wool for our runways in the base, the facility. So if I do that, now if I breed those sheep, they should come out cyan. Easy, easy as can be. Oh, there's our steak. Let's not lose the steak. Now, this could be a little bit bigger, huh? You guys don't have much room in here. No, you don't. Uh, let's do that. Let's fix this up a little bit more. We've got eight more fences. I threw this in here just so we get them in. We'll just get that out of here first. Get that out of here. And then let's go ahead and bring this back a little bit further. Just so they've got... I, I hate having animals crammed up. I just do. I know it's just a game, and I know they're not real, but I just hate to see them all crammed up like that. It just drives me nuts. If we do that right there, um, we're going to need two more. There's a little more space for them to get around in. And what I could do is I could just make some more cyan wool, some more cyan dye. What I need two, and I could just change them all to cyan. I don't have to breed anymore. I really don't need any more than this. I mean, I know some people have um, wool farms and they've got every color in the rainbow, but I really don't need all that. I just need the cyan right now. So we need two, four, five, five more cyan would be good. All right, let's uh, let's let's go back to the house and get that taken care of. It's real easy to do. If you guys don't know, it's just blue dye and green dye mixed together gives you the cyan. And I kept thinking to myself, God, where am I going to get all these blue flowers? And it occurred to me, it's like, well, don't get a bunch of blue flowers. Just, just you know, dye the sheep. And then you can shear the sheep and they're the right color. This is all going to come out of here. I think we're going to work on the walkway around the base today. We've got that other project downstairs worked out. By the way, we're back up to just, I think it's 14, 16 diamonds, something like that. Not a whole lot, but it's it was enough for me to fix my pickaxe and enough for me to, uh, you know, just, just to be feeling a little bit better about it. That's all. Uh, I say I needed five, so that's going to be, give me two, four. Let's do one more of those. And then we need one, two, three of these. Uh, let's do that. And then let's go... Here, we're going to do that, and then we're going to take this and this and make that. There we go. we got six more. Fantastico. Fantastico. That'll give, that'll give us plenty of cyan to get going. And the cyan wool, I think, is going to look, like I said last episode, it's going to look really good on the floor out here. And then once we get the walkway taken care of and everything else, this week I'm hoping that on our episodes we can get this, this entryway taken care of. So we've got a, a definitive way in and out of the place. So we're not doing this weird, uh, jumpy thing anymore. It's just, we're in, we're out. Uh-oh, it's getting dark. Jeez, I didn't think we were going to be doing that already. I just got out here, for Pete's sake. Yep. 
Oh, I have no grass for them to eat. <laughs> okay, I gotta, gotta get some grass in here too. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that too. There we go. Well, we could try some of this out and see how it's gonna look. Okay, so uh, note to sell. Dirt and grass. They have to have grass to eat. That's why the cows are sitting over here. They don't eat the grass, but that's why I've got them over here, because they're on grass. So that's okay. That's easy to do. That's easy to do. We've got grass blocks. We could just put a few in there, and they should be good to go. So let's take a sleep first. We'll run downstairs. We'll grab some of those grass blocks. We'll be in business. That was a bit of an oversight right there. Yeah, if the sheep don't have uh, grass to eat, they're not going to grow their wool. Uh, so that's what we want. I was wondering why those two have not done that yet. Set my coffee real quick. Oh, I don't have my coffee with me. Oh, great, Scott. I've made it into the kitchen. I'm going to have to take a little break here for just a second. I'll be right back. I got to get that. Welcome back. It's amazing what happens when you give them something to eat. <laughs> it's like, oh, hey, yeah, look at there. It's great. Okay. They flock right to it. It's like, God, yeah, I'll take it. We're gathering gobbling it up. We're getting extra cyan carpet. That's very nice. The wool is rolling in. Oh, oh, oh. Everybody out of the hole, please. Thank you. Thank you. Just one more, one more piece, guys. One more piece. Can I get that in there without you guys getting hurt? Come on. Out you go. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Now, eat some grass. Eat some grass. I'm going to eat some fish. I got cooked. Ooh, I got, some, I got some steak too, but the fish is good. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's another one. Babies are gobbling it up. How much do we have now? 16. If I do this, does it. Oh, I can. Okay, great. Oh, look at this. I can do this. Bam! I got 24 right now. And I did dye them all cyan, right? I did get that taken care of. I think I did. This should work out just fine. I highly doubt that they're going to be able to eat all of this and, and ruin it. But you know what? To be careful about that. That's something we don't want to have happen. Let's go ahead and do that and that. And what we can do is we can put a couple, we can put at least a grass block on the outside that they can't get to. And then if they do, for some reason, manage to eat all of the grass in there, uh, at least it can replenish itself in time. Yeah, there you go. You guys are doing great. Yeah, that's right. Little babies, grow up, become big sheep. Give me lots of cyan. That's what I'm looking for. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, we didn't get him, did we? Look at you. Yeah, look at that. They've done a number on the grass already in here, huh? They really have done a number on it. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go back to our inventory. We have one of these. Looks like we got one sheep here that's not cyan. There we go. And then we're going to run inside and take a look at the uh, walkway and see what we can do there for that. Oh, I love it when they give me more than one. Those guys are giving out like three pieces. That's awesome. Yeah, that is just awesome right there. All right, 39 of them now. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Let's leave. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to swap all these out. Like so. I just want to make sure they don't run out of grass, ever. Like that, right there. There we go. That should take care of that. All right. Chickens, cows. Uh, I've not been in here for quite a while. Let's just get a roundup of eggs real quick. I can hear them just plopping right into my inventory like crazy. There's our poor horse stuck in here with all these guys. We need to get to him in his old place, too. That's for sure. Do I have a gate over here? Was I smart enough to put a gate on this side? I was. There we go. Beautiful. All right, we're out of there. How many eggs we get? Fourteen. I don't want... Oh, you know what? There we go. Uh, I've not been putting the crops into the uh, compost bin because we've got the bone. Bone yard? Or not the bone yard, but, the, you know, the bone. Ability to do the bones. So I've been just throwing the stuff kind of in here. Uh, zombie flesh. There we go. And, yeah, we got 11 bone meal. Not a whole lot, but I've been taking the crops inside and kind of stockpiling them inside the, the base. I figured, well, we'll take the crops. 
because we've got the skeleton spawner now. That's what I was trying to spit out just a second ago. We've got the skeleton spawner, so we don't really need um, uh, the composter at all. Unless someday that becomes a thing. All right, next step is we need to go downstairs and we need to get ourselves this ant, this diorite block and get those replaced with diorite. And then we're going to go over the top of them with, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the good stuff, the carpet. All right, so we've got some diorite blocks. We'll throw those in there. Uh, we've got a die right here we don't need in our inventory. And I think I've got some hide somewhere in here. Oh, there it is right there. Okay, and excellent. Back over to here, and eggs. There they are right there, bam. We still got our chicken in the walls. The chickens are in the walls still. A couple of eggs that I threw and that they hatched. It's kind of funny to have them just kind of roaming around in there. I was thinking out here, since we're not going to be able to see the floor anymore, we could get away with putting uh, jack-o'-lanterns in here to light this up. Uh, we've got pumpkins. We've got pumpkins growing. We get more pumpkins, of course. Let's get this out of here. This again, I want to try to use around the walkway. See how it's going to look on the walkway. It does have these uh, lines on it, so I'm not quite sure how those are going to line up and look, but we'll see. If anything else, I can uh, make uh, white concrete blocks and do it that way. Bam! Just like that. All right, nice. And then we want to do you in here. Now, on the runner, we can use the jack lanterns, but of course, the rest of the place we can't do that because, well, they're not going to be, it's not going to be hidden by underneath carpet. So, uh, that's, that's a thing right there. A little bit of lag going on today. Not quite sure why. Uh, what, what am I, what am I set, settings at here? Options, uh, video. 15 chunks is all I've got. So, that's not, that should not be an issue. I kind of like having the chickens down here on the walls. It's weird, I know, but, uh, it, it's just a thing. It's just a thing. I think I've got two of them in here. Yeah, there's the other one right there. Did not make it through that door first time. Nope, there we go. There we go. Perfect. All right. And then we're going to do the cyan carpet. Uh, where'd you go? There you are, right here. We want three wide. Oh, I like how that looks now. That's very nice. It's really vibrant, isn't it, this color? And it's gonna it's gonna lead to the door. Now the door is gonna be back here a little bit, so we really don't have room for these guys right here because we're gonna have a door right here that's gonna have redstone underneath the floor, so we can't really do that. There we go. Look at that. Oh man, that's gonna be beautiful, right? That's gonna be really good. That's gonna be really really great. I love that idea. Okay, perfect. Oh, got one more right over here. So I am gonna have to do some uh, some pretty consistent shearing of the sheep to get what we need because we need one here and then we want this runner to turn off here and go this direction here. Let's get a few jack-o'-lanterns and see how that works with lighting up the floor underneath that. Let's say, let's get three or four of them. I believe we've got some right back in here. I've been putting the watermelons and the jack-o'-lanterns back in here. There's watermelons. Here's, here we go. Uh, let's go, let's take four of them. And I believe in order for me to do this, I need to take them and put them, I don't think I can make them jack-o'-lanterns this way. No, I can't. I can turn them into seeds there, but that's not the idea. Four, and then you have to shear them. Like so. We get that taken care of, and then I believe, yeah, now we can make jack-o'-lanterns. It's telling me right there. Oh, okay. Apparently it's got to be in that specific order in order for it to work. These guys should put off enough light right down the middle there to keep us keep us ni nice and lit up. So if we put one here, let's put another one here, another one right here. Does that look about right? Um, what do we got here? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Every, what, one, two, three, four. Put one right here. Oh, for Pete's sake. I did not want to do that. Uh, that's okay. We can throw that right there. All right, and that's gonna add a little light down here, too Not that we need it because nothing's gonna spawn down in here So we don't have to worry about that because the slabs are all placed properly in here, so we shouldn't have to worry about spawnage Okay, let's do that one right there. I was kind of hoping he'd jump back up and he did one two three four and this is 
five. I got actually five between each one, right? Come on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, and then five. Okay, so right here is the other one. Well, that didn't come out in inventory. That block may be gone forever. And then we're just going to put these guys right down here, and we'll finish jack lining that up. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we can put another one here if we need to, because we're going to have the door. So again, we got to compensate for the door, and if the door is going to be here... Uh, we can, you know, do some lighting on the door or in the door itself, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's take a sleep. Let's try to get the runner finished up. See how it turns out. Whoops. Whoops. Going the wrong way. Uh, I did manage to come in over the weekend a little bit, and I did some, uh, just some branch mining. Found some diamonds. But it was nice to find those diamonds, because we needed them very badly. Very badly indeed. And I think what we could do here too is probably put a jack-o'-lantern. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right here it looks like is the middle. There we go. Put one right there too. All right, let's go see about the sheep, about some uh, cyan wool here. I see a bunch of them out there. There we go. I have not had to kill a single one of our cows yet. Baby's all grown up. Oh gosh, maybe I should. Maybe I should breed them again just to get the cyan wool coming in a little bit faster. What do you think? Or am I going to be in... Ouch! Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> He's standing in the... Jerk. He hightailed it to the water is what he did. Oh, look at you. Oh, he got me anyways. I zigged. I zigged and zagged. But not fast enough. Give me that arrow. Give me that bone. I don't need it, but I want it. God, you know, we could do white carpet too along the edge of the walkway and not change blocks out. But let's let's see what we can do with uh, the blocks. Let's see. Because this is just... These are carpet runners, right? It's not supposed to be... Uh, like solid floor. This is supposed to. Oh my God! Look at. Did I run right past him? I think I did. I want that gunpowder? She comes in handy for the TNT. Oh, that's great. What do we got now? Nineteen. The 27 pieces of cyan. I guess this is okay, huh? Yeah, that's good. That's that's enough sheep. We don't need any more than this. What do we got there? We got two, four, six, seven. We actually have one too many. Maybe I should breed them one more time so I've got an even number of sheep in here. Maybe that's what I should do. Do I have do I have any I don't have any wheat in there? Why would I have wheat in there? And, uh, no, we don't want you. We want you. There we go. And we're going to plop you in there. And we're going to take you. There we go. Nice. Oh, my God. Just won't give it to me. Just won't give it to me. All right, I think we got it. I think we got what we need. Thank you, sheeps. And then when I need to, if I need a different color, we can just come out here and change them all to a different color, and we're good to go, right? I mean, do I really need sheep pooping out all kinds of different, like yellow wool? Will I ever use yellow wool? I, I'm just thinking, no, I, I don't think I ever will. I mean, I might someday, hot pink or you know, any of those colors. I don't think so. I think I'm, I think I'm good. I find the colors I want, and then I get them. go look at that yes beautiful and then this one's gonna come straight down this way oh yeah that's just like that and then eventually I think what we'll do is we'll wind up having something that goes this way too uh, the swamp is no that's south the swamp is out that away this way 
is the desert. I mean, we could do a path out to the desert. We could do one of these things, <clears throat> one of these pods that goes all the way out to the desert. But oh my gosh, that would be that be a ride. I've done it before, and I could do it again. But that would be one heck of a ride. Uh, okay, so we've got those bone blocks on us, right? We do. All right, let's go ahead and take a look and see what we're going to do here with this. Oh. Hmm. If I do that and that, what does that look like from down below here? You're going to see that. All right, I don't like that idea. I don't like the fact that I can see that white block there. It's going to be like that all the way around. I mean, it's not bad looking, but it just doesn't. It's going to be just that block, so we may have to go with the uh, carpet route. Either that, or I switch this up. We don't do the white at all. We do the andesite instead. Because the andesite would blend in there just fine. Hmm... Well, um, yeah, I don't like the idea of having the bone block showing down below into the wall like that or, or up from underneath when you're looking. I do not like that idea at all. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, I did not think about that. I thought it was all going to be kind of hidden uh, back behind that wall, but that's not the case. So what am I going to do here? <clears throat> um, choices, options. Uh, we use white carpet wool. Uh, we continue running maybe the cyan all the way around the building with the rail because we're going to do a glass rail with supports. That's the idea. Um, the be there's gonna be a railing along here. That's what I want to get started on today and take a look at and see. We're gonna use the black glass because we all seem to be like, ooh, black glass. That's nice, and it is really nice. Yeah, that's a little disappointing. And then we could do... Like that, right there. And that makes that look much... A little more inviting, huh? And then we're going to have to do the same thing over on this side as well. Have a... You know, the runners going this way. Let's put that torch right back here. Gives it a little something, and then what we can do later on, too, is come back and do some decorative stuff kind of in these corners just to kind of liven it up a little bit so it's not just this big kind of empty space out here. We have, uh, it, was, it was thought, okay, greenhouse, have an, a, a greenhouse in here, and we could still do that. We could still grow certain things in here in these particular corners, do some kind of a nice little border along here. Maybe we do stairs that go along here like this up to the wall and then down there and then in here instead of it just being the white diorite maybe we do planter boxes with different kinds of flowers and things like that that we find in the world that uh, are interesting to look at and fun to have and we put those in here or maybe we take these corners and we turn them into some sort of a trophy area where we put something right here that's a trophy like maybe the dragon head when we get to the end cities and stuff and over here um, I don't know, these banners from the, the pillagers, and we have something different in each of these areas like that. That's a possibility. I'll throw that one in your guys' court, and we'll see what you guys have to say about that, but I think that sounds pretty cool. Either one of those things would be a lot of fun to do, and it would add a lot of life uh, up there into that area. Now, the next thing I want to do is, we've got four of this. Uh, we are going to go with the black glass, uh, and then we've got plenty of these guys right here. Uh, gunpowder, I think I put that over here. Yeah, gunpowder, there we go. We don't have a lot of gunpowder and bones. There we go. Um, that's too bad about these bone blocks. 
I'll figure something out. We'll figure something out for the bone blocks. Don't you worry about that. And we're going to need a lot of glass. Uh, let's grab a stack of glass at least and see what we've got going on here. And we'll give it a shot. Okay, so we've got this guy right here. Let's turn that all into black dye. Let's do this right here. And let's go all the way around like so. And then I should be able to take that out. And I should be able to go like this. That's got, okay, that's got a lot of it. That's great. And we'll do some more. And we've got that going for us right there. Awesome. What time is it? Sun's just about ready to go down. You guys like those ideas? Let me know. Feedback, of course. Feedback, feedback. You guys have been doing really well. This is the least watched series on the channel, but I am really enjoying being back in Minecraft. I really am. I'm just having a good time coming in here and just messing around with my square world. I do. I, I do think uh, you can make amazing things in this game. I really do. I've seen some amazing, outstanding, unbelievable builds with Minecraft. Tell you what, let me take a break. I'll come back. Sun will be up. We'll be outside. We'll get to building. Welcome back. Oh, we go this way. I got started a little bit here just to kind of figure out what kind of a uh, pattern I was going to go with. And I think I've got this worked out. We're going to go like that. And then we're going to put one here in the middle here. We got one here. And this is, goes one, two. Well, let's see. Hold on a second. We go boom, oh, boom, boom, and a boom like so. These guys are gonna pull in the theme of these, 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 this block, and then we got three spaces on the ends. One, two, three. Block one, two, two three. Hmm. Hold on a second here now. Wait a dang minute. Oh, it's two. It's two. That's right. It's two. It's two. I'm mistaken. One, two, one, two, open. There we go. One, two, open. One, two, like so. Well, wait a second. This is not right still. Let's figure this out. Hold on. <clears throat> Makes me wonder if I got one of the sides here wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so it's one, two, three. One, two, th and I got one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. Is that right? And I got one, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, this is, th I've got this wrong. One, two, three. I got one, I got these guys in the wrong spot right here. And then there should be four in the middle there, three. Three on each edge, and then four in the middle here. Okay, that works out great, just like that. I know it's a little unusual, but you got to figure out, okay, where's where's my happy medium going to be? So we've, we've got one, two, three. There we go. Perfect. All right, that's good. Uh, we need some fish. We need some fish. Ugh, salmon. Lately, if I eat salmon, it does not make me feel too good afterwards. I don't know why. It just it, it's too bad because I really liked it. It was such a good it's such a good fish. And we're going to come all the way down here with this guy right here. And then we'll have to figure out what we're going to do in this long stretch here. So we got left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. That's 12. 1, 2, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then I should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. So if that's the case, let's go every three again. 1, 2, 3, and a block. 1, 2, 3, a block. 1, 2, 3, a block. Let's get rid of this guy right here. 1, 2, 3, a block. 1, 2, 3, and a block. And then I've got 1, 2, 3 here. Okay, beautiful. There we go. That's going to give the whole railing a lot of uh, stability, I think. One, two, three. Let's try it out and see if we can just do this without having to count all the way down here. Uh, one, two, three, and a block. Two, three, block. One, two, three, block. This will be another project done. We won't have to think about it. It'll just be in here. One, two, three. And then we'll be ready for our, our pods that we're going to put in. One, two, three, block. There we go. 
It's not going to work that way. One, two, three. Yeah, it's not going to work that way. All right, let me figure this out. I'll come back. I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch me count all this. I was kind of hoping that was just going to fall into place. So far, up until this very point, most everything has just been falling right back into place. So just give me one second. I'll be right back. Welcome back. I finally figured it out. <laughs> it took me forever. Uh, but I realized that I'm not... I wanted these um, corners to have the three blocks like this is right here. So I had to go back and redo all of those that I put in because I did not double up. Didn't do the corners right. So here we are. We're capping these guys off right here because that's the way I want those to be. Just to give them a little bit of height over the, the rest of this here. Like so. And I've been killing some uh, zombies. I'm going to waste that piece of glass. I'm going to do it. I don't have my silk touch with me. I don't want to take the time to run downstairs to do it either. There we go. And we should probably put uh, some of these tor uh, torch down in here. I mean, this is... I, I forgot. This is None of this is lit up down here. I could have mobs spawning constantly on this walkway and have pretty good access to just about everything. The spiders, for some reason, are not managing to find their way in. But, uh, uh, you know... Just a matter of time, right? And then somebody will. Ooh, Enderman. Uh, we got to get that guy. I got sand on me. I got this guy. I got this stuff right here, too. So let's go like that, that. Like so. All right, let's do this. Let's get him up here. Where'd he go? No, 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 no. I want you. I need you. Oh, he disappeared. Dang it. Eh, he took off. Bummer. As I see them, I grab them. I'm not actually gone out hunting for Endermen. I'm not in a big hurry to get to the end. Uh, although I do want the um, end rods for the uh, lighting up in this area as soon as we get up above ground. I want this stuff to have a, a little more of a sci-fi feel to it. And I think the end rods would be a perfect lighting choice for that. There we go. Sixty-four more of them. Some of this might go away right here because we're going to have the exits to the um, uh, pod areas coming through here. There, there's going to be a pod there that goes out to uh, the swamp, which is a huge endeavor too, right there. That's going to be like okay, we figure out our design, our shape, and then it's going to be just repetitious of laying the same blocks over and over again until we get them completely put in. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. Got it. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. Okay, so how am I getting out of here? I guess it's the same way I've been getting out of here. Uh, how are we doing? Oh, I didn't even, I wasn't even on the dang thing. Yeah, there we go. The railing's going to look nice. You, you guys watch. Yeah, it, it'll look good. It looks good right now. I like the darker glass. It kind of fades out the blocks up here. You can tell it's there. It's there. That's great. Nice. Okay, so we've got that taken care of. Now, what are we going to do about... I brought another block up just to take a look at it to see what I thought of it. Let's do a different spot, though. Let's go back over here where we were. The ones that are a little more visible to us. I'm curious to see what the dark gray is going to look like. That would look really good in the walkway right there, I think. But what about up underneath here? I'm still not thrilled about that. I'm thinking the andesite might be the way to go. I think the andesite is going to be uh, the answer to what we need. Because yeah, I'm still not I'm not happy with how this color looks either down below. It's just too dark. It stands out so much. Let's go get some uh, andesite and see. Let's see how that looks. Zoop. All right. And do I have any andesite blocks in here? I don't think I do. Oh, I've got 38. Okay, so we could do a little stretch and see how it looks. 
At least we could do that. Okay, so we're done with that. We're done with that. I grabbed sand and stuff with me just in case. And I, I just, like I said, I'm not too thrilled with how that is looking. So run downstairs with me. Let's clear out inventory. We'll grab another couple stacks of andesite. We're going to need it anyways. I'm going to use the uh, full blocks. Gosh, I wonder if I should indent. I don't know that I can indent this by one. That's the thing. We could use the walkway. We could use the bottom half of the slab, and then we wouldn't have to worry about mobs spawning in there, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Let's grab two of those, and I have yet to use the concrete for much of anything at all. Uh, let's do that. We'll just throw these guys in here like so. That's that gravel. Okay. We've got some grass blocks in here. We've got some dirt. And we've got some cobble. Uh, right up here. You can see I did some digging. This chest is now just about full with cobble as is. This one is full. So a little bit. I did a branch mine. I did a branch mine. That's all I managed to get done. But... It got me diamonds enough to fix my tools for a little bit. Oh, and I also added uh, Unbreaking 3 on our bow. So now we are Power 4, Infinity, Unbreaking 3. For 8 levels, I took a uh, skeleton's used bow and put it on our bow. And it worked out just great. Okay, so let's see how this is going to look. Boy, is this how I'm doing this? No, 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 no. Come on now. Okay, so let's try this out. Let's go like that. I guess I'm going to do every block except for the one that's up underneath the rail because that's the brick for us to, you know, be walking on or for the rails to be attached to. So these guys are all going to get swapped out for these right here. Let's do a chunk and see how it looks. We're going to need a lot of this. I can see that right now. I don't like the idea of wasting the brick, but I just don't have time to be jumping down and picking up the stuff that doesn't fly back up into my inventory. Now well, we've got two more to do here. It's not as dramatic, but I think down below it's going to blend in better and look like it's part of the base. Yeah, see that just fits in there better, the andesite. It's a different gray, I realize that, but it, it does fit in with that much better than a, a contrast, a, a much darker or contrasting color. I feel like, anyways. Wow, I can't get up to those, huh? Look at that. Yeah, it's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. I can make stone so fast. Uh, no, you need to go the other way. There we go, like that, and that right there. There we go. All right, so we're going to lose some brick, but in the long run, this is going to look really nice. Let's get a nice big chunk of it done so we can see it. Okay, I need to swap all that other stuff out. Yeah, that's going to work for me. I wish the other blocks had worked, but they're just not going to look good. It matches the walkways in here and downstairs and stuff like that. So it kind of blends everything together. The whole base kind of comes together with this. So let's just stick with it. I guess the inside block, I could use slabs and double the amount of material that I'm actually going to be able to use to work with because uh, right now yeah we're going to run out of this stuff i'm going to have to go downstairs i bet we used up most of the anisite we have in storage not that we can't get more
And then lighting. Lighting's going to be a thing. What are we going to do about the lighting in here? Nice. Whoops. Perfect. Look at that. All right, I'll finish this up. I'll bring you back. We'll take a look at it and see what we're going to do next. That has it wrapped up. The rail is installed. We can get all the way around the outside of the building. It still needs lights, uh, but again, uh, glowstone is going to be a must for the redstone lamps. And up on this area here, I think what I'm going to do is mostly put in the end rods. I think the end rods would look really cool in here if we find a unique way, an interesting way to put them up. I think it would look really, really cool. Boom, just like that. So there we go. We've got the railing installed all the way around the facility. Ah, oh, that feels good to have that done too. Yeah, we're kind of uh, doing kind of a punch list of projects that we've got started on a bunch of different things. And we're trying to get them all kind of wrapped up here today or in the recent videos anyways. There's other things, too, that need to be done, like the uh, landscaping has to be taken care of and torn up and everything. But that's going to look much, that looks much better. You can tell there's a rail there, but it doesn't stand out. And, you know, it's not like super, I don't know, in your face. It's just there. So I like the idea of having that right there all the way around so we can uh, look out and down. And then, of course, we're going to have to add some better lighting to it as well. We're going to have to get back into the nether. We just have to. I know I keep saying that, and we're going to have to. It's going to have to be very soon here, too. We're going to have to go in the nether and uh, actually set off and travel around a little bit because there's not a whole lot of glowstone right in the immediate area of the nether when we get there. It's uh, off in the distance a little bit. I wonder if we can get enough carpet to finish off that other side. Let's see. Let's do it. Yeah, you can see I've picked up a bunch of bricks. A bunch of bricks are back now in our inventory, too. Let's go get some, uh, let's go get some carpet. And then let me know what you think about the idea about having maybe some planter beds in there. Give it all. Eat, eat it up. Eat up that grass, guys. Both of our chickens got out. Very good. Very good. Let's go back. Let's see if we can get that one other runner finished up. Now, I, get to go, I get to going with the carpet. I mean, we could do a carpet. Lots of carpet in the, the different areas here. Come on, let me out. There we go. We've got this here, but even in the hallway, coming up and stuff, we could even carpet, uh, just for instance. Um, I mean, we could add that to it. It adds a lot to the walkway when you're coming walking along. Just, out of, just for the fun of it, you know, we could do something like this too. For the meantime, because again, we're going very industrial here. We'll go with uh, what we got going on here right now. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit of time to get it all, but uh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Get this going. All right, I'm out of time. That's all I've got time for. We've got a little bit of work done today. More progress. Oh, boy, a witch. I don't know if you can see her, but uh, we're going to light her up. Take a potion all she wants. That's going to, yeah, that's going to wrap it up. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. I want you to have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.